Hey everyone, in the previous video I taught you how to sort a list using the built-in sort method for a list. So you would say something like workdays.sort. And this is fine, it modifies the original list, but there's actually another variation which will create a new sorted list for you. And that is the sorted function. So you pass in the list, so we would pass in workdays as an argument, and it's going to return a new list. So you can assign it to a variable or as we'll show you, just put it inside of a print. So we'll say print, and running this, you can see that we get it sorted by alphabetical order. You could do another similar thing with numbers. So we could say data and just put some numbers in here. So I'll go ahead and pass data in here just to see what we get. And you can see it's sorted by smallest to largest. So when should you use the sort method as opposed to the sorted function? Well, if you're trying to make a copy of the data, sorted works nice and easily. However, if you're totally fine with modifying the original list, I recommend just using sort. That way you don't have to create a copy. Another thing about sorted is that when you go to invoke sorted, you can see the actual parameter list here is it says it takes an iterable. We haven't talked about iterables a whole lot, but it includes lists. So sorted can be used for lists, but it can also be used for other things such as dictionaries. So it's a little bit more versatile and then it can be used for various things, whereas list.sort is only going to work on that list. Overall, in my opinion, it doesn't make a huge difference on what you use. It just depends on if you need to keep the original data or not. That's all I got for you on how to invoke sorted. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to get into some variations.